Different minerals exhibit many different colors, and the reasons for particular colors are the subject of extensive knowledge in chemistry and physics. Our needs are much more modest. We speak of the color of a bulk specimen, that is, a mineral sample of significant size, perhaps from the size of sand grains and larger. We also speak of the streak color, or the color of a powdered sample on a porcelain plate, where the particles are microscopic. If we wish to use bulk color to identify a mineral, however, we may encounter a problem. For example, these specimens are differently colored in bulk sample, yet they are of the same mineral. The variation in color may be due to the presence and amounts of what are called trace elements, elements present in the crystal structure in very, very small quantities, but they interact with light in different ways. Or, the difference in color may be due to an admixture of other minerals in the sample, or perhaps due to other causes. A streak is made by crushing a sharp edge or corner of a mineral against a streak plate. The streak plate is made of fused silica or porcelain, which typically has a hardness value of about 7 on the Mohs scale. If the mineral has a hardness significantly less than the streak plate, a short, sharp stroke with downward force will leave a line of crushed powder from which we identify the mineral's streak color. This streak color is yellow, and it happens to be the same as the color of the bulk specimen. This streak color is white, which is different from the color of the bulk specimen. So we see that the color of the streak, the powder, is a better diagnostic test used in the identification of a mineral than the bulk color of the mineral specimen.